Welcome to Read and Interpret Plans. The ability to read and interpret information off a set of working drawings is an important skill required by all tradespeople within the construction industry. Correctly interpreting information off a set of drawings can save time, materials and conflicts during the project. Construction drawings are usually presented as orthographic projections. The word orthographic comes from two Latin words, ortho meaning true and graphic meaning drawing. Orthographic drawings can be measured and give accurate dimensions relative to scale. The opposite of orthographic drawings would be pictorial. Pictorial drawings give the illusion of three-dimensional objects. Pictorial drawings would not be practical to take measurements of dimensions because the drawing would not be accurate and to scale. Orthographic projections give two-dimensional views of objects. These drawings will be taken across several planes of views. The two views mostly used in construction drawing are plan views and elevation views. The plan view is a view of an object from above. So you'll see plan views of floor areas called floor plans and views of sites such as site plans. Don't confuse the expression plan view with the expression set of plans or plan reading. The term set of plans relates to a complete set of working drawings including elevations and plan views of a site. Whereas the term plan view refers to the orthographic projection from above. Views of the side of an object are called elevations. These can be front end elevations, but more commonly you'll see north, south, east and west elevations. Sometimes they're also referred to as elevations 1, 2, 3 and 4, etc. The most common types of working drawings that you will find in a set of plans are as follows. Site plans Foundation plans Floor plans Elevations north, south, east and west or 1, 2, 3 and 4 sectional elevations sectional details bracing plans tie down fixings so let's just look at a set of plans for a moment and see what a set of plans would actually look like here we see the site plan, now we see the floor plan and these are the elevations, these ones are referred to as 1, 2, 3 and 4 now we see the cross sections or sectional details or section elevations, these are our details now here we have details of roof members, of roof frames some more details including footing details roof members. Here is a plan view of the roof. Now a section plan of the view, a view of the roof. Foundation plans. And we have electrical plan here as well. We're going to consider some of the more common plans that you're likely to encounter as a tradesperson in the industry. Firstly we're going to look at site plans. Site plans give an overview of the entire site and they're usually drawn on a scale of 1 to 200. The site plan will have a north point that will be a good reference in gaining orientation of the site. For instance, by referring to the plan, the site plan, you'll be able to orientate the north elevation in reference to the road and other elevations, etc. Site plans usually show where a driveway is in reference to the building, also where roads and other services are too. Some of the services that can be included on a site plan might be where the water access to the job site is, power, telephone, easements, etc. Site plans also contain set out points for boundaries. This way the builder can do a site set out for foundations and for construction. Site plans often contain contour lines and a set out datum point. This information is very critical when setting out for construction on sloping blocks. 
For instance, on the site plan we see the reduced level is 11,400, which is 1,400 above the datum point. The finished floor level would be 1 meter and 400 millimeters above the datum. The datum is a point of reference, that is a comparison to take measurements off. Your trainer can provide more information on datums and contour lines to you later. Floor plans. Floor plans are very important. There's a lot of information that can be obtained from a floor plan. These drawings usually give more information than any other working drawing. Floor plans are usually drawn to a scale of 1 is to 100. The floor plan shows the basic design of a construction project and by using the floor plan you can determine the dimensions of any particular room or feature of a project. The floor plan will also show wall thicknesses and the position of doors and windows as well. From most floor plans you'll be able to discern the basic shape of the roof by means of the roof outline. On this particular floor plan you can also see the hanging and strutting beams outline. Elevations. Elevation drawings are designed to provide information across the breadth and height of a project. The information found in an elevation would be difficult, if not impossible, to communicate on a planned view of a project. Elevations of a construction project are usually presented from four sides. This is often the requirement of local authorities. These four sides will usually be presented as north, east, south and west elevations. Some variations to this, as can be seen here, where the elevation can also be referred to as elevations 1, 2, 3 and 4, etc. We will now look at some of the information that you could expect to find on an elevation drawing. Firstly, you will note that the elevation view provides information about the position of doors and windows to external walls, including the type of doors and windows required. Elevation views of a project can provide information on the types of covering used in a building as well. For example, the elevation view will indicate if it's chamfer board, weather board or fibre cement sheeting used for cladding. The elevation can also provide information on the roof covering that will be used as well. And it will also help in establishing the pitch of the roof and the roof overhang as well. As you can see in these next, next examples, the elevation views can provide a bit of a foregleam of what the project will look like. The sectional elevation is an elevation view of a project cut through to see the details of the interior of a project. By means of the sectional detail you can determine the ceiling heights. You can also determine the heights of joinery such as doors and windows etc. Sectional elevations can also provide information on the depth of footings and the finished floor level as well as the ground level indicated as FFL and GL. We see here a sectional elevation indicated as section ZZ. You'll notice when we look at the floor plan the letters Z appear as well as arrows indicating a direction. Within the floor plan you'll be able to identify the view of the section elevation and which direction is taken. For instance when we look at this one here we see the letters A are indicated with arrows showing which direction the section view is taken. Thus we would expect to see a section elevation indicated as section AA somewhere within the plans. Here we see a sectional elevation indicated as Y to Y and a sectional elevation indicated as X through to X. Here we see X cut through the plan. The view would be taken in this direction. Again we see Y down through to Y viewing that direction there. Sectional details. Sectional details are also a very important part of a set of working drawings. The sectional details are especially important when communicating important engineering specifications. Examples of such specifications will be details of roof members, footing depths, 
tie-down details, and these are just to mention a few. Look at this footing detail for a moment. We can see that the footing is to be 500mm deep and 300mm wide. You can clearly see the information presented in the footing detail is valuable, right through from site set out to excavation and to finally concreting as well. Well that's the end of plan reading now. We hope that you've learned something from this brief presentation. It's important to note that this presentation is only a brief overview of reading plans. Your trainer will no doubt want to speak to you further on the type of plans and details that you'll be required to be familiar with in your vocational field or industry.